Okay, so this is a PW365. This is something that we don't work on every day. This is the second truck that we have done for this company. Pretty much they based out of uh, New Jersey. They just got here. On this truck, we're gonna be doing the floors. We're gonna be doing the seats, the dash. We're gonna be doing the door panels. Also, he wants an air ride suspension that we do as well. Uh, let me show you guys how ready the floors that we did. Pretty much, we went simple on this time. How uh, you guys can see, we did gray with gray marble pretty much on the dash everything is going to stay the same only the panels are going to be getting painted right here we're going to be throwing the door inserts that we offer on our website these little details that are they go on the door they're going to be painted other than that tomorrow we should uh, be able to start taking apart the hole from axle like that we're going to be able to start installing the right kit that we have Okay, so pretty much today we're gonna be working on the air ride on this Peterbilt 365. So what we got here, we got the solenoid that we're gonna be using. We got the U-bolts, we got the adapter that are pretty much they're gonna be going on top of the backs. We got out the airline and we got out the fittings. So I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how we hook this. So how you guys can see, we got two half inch hoses that are they gonna be going in. One comes from the tank all the way to the solenoid and then the other one is gonna be going from the solenoid to the backs. So on this side, you see this one quarter inch hose that is gonna be going there. That one is gonna be going to a gauge that is gonna let us know how many PSI pressure we got on the backs. And then pretty, pretty much on this side, we just put a cap because we only have uh, two bags. Then on these two, uh, we're gonna be getting two switches. One is gonna be to go up and the other one is gonna be to go down. So it should be pretty easy. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys what we're doing on the track. Uh, we got a full house, so pretty much we're gonna be working outside today. Thank God that we don't have a uh, outdoor sun. The uh, first thing that we did, we cut the U-bolts since we got new ones. Now we're gonna be removing the bottom leaves. And then once we got that, uh, we're gonna be putting the new U-bolts with the new bases. And then we just gotta drill the hoses on the chassis, put the trucks from the airlines, and that's it. That should be all, either way. I'll keep watching so like that you guys can see how we do it. So right now we already set the solenoid to the truck. Pretty much what we did, we just attached it straight to the truck. Right here, how you guys can see, we already set the exhaust uh, hose. That's where the air is gonna be coming out. So pretty much we got these two wires. These are going in to the cap, the switches. And we also now have to set another hose that is gonna be going in to the dash where we're gonna be setting a new gauge. Down here, how you guys can see, we are already running a hose that is gonna be, this half inch hose is gonna be running all the way to the tank. And we're gonna set it with a T. So like that, as soon as you crank up the truck, we're gonna be having air going in straight to the solenoid. So you'll be able to, to put air on the back and then the truck will be able to go up pretty much. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how we do it, how we run it how we run the lines to the backs too as well, okay?
pretty much what we end up doing on the doors was so we did the insert that is pretty easy to install pretty much the way that we do it uh, is uh, it's a little screw you drive the screw straight to the door and then you're just going to be putting the cap that is going to be matching the leather that we did we also painted these little terms we painted the one on the controllers we painted this and the one by the door handle all this is matching the dash as well so pretty much everything is like matching same thing as the floor that console over there we installed it the same way one little screw and then we put the, uh, the cap on top everything is pretty easy to install we got these available on our website if you need any specific color also let us know we can match the colors that you guys like and we can go from there So pretty much what we end up doing, put an air ride system on the front so you guys can see. Now it's sitting way lower on the side. Uh, he wanted to get some cap like extension, so we went with three inches. And also we added lights underneath, so it's gonna have a nice glow on eye. Also, since he did that, he told me, Julio, I need to get something for my filters that matches the cap light. So what we did, we did this bracket that pretty much has the same lights that we have on the visor that we have underneath as well. So everything is matching right now. In the interior, he just wanted to keep every, everything pretty much simple and gray, pretty much. We did the door inserts, we did the headliner over the dash console and behind the seat belts. Also the seats, he want them to be matching everything else. So we went and did the seats, diamond stitching, gray leather, and we also throw the Peter Bill logo right on top of the headset. Floors, we went with the same color that we have in the exterior and he wanted to do like a lighter gray for the marble. On the dash, we tried to do the same thing that we, do, that, uh, we did on the floors. And also we did the paddle trim, so pretty much no dirt goes inside the paddles. Uh, Right now we're just waiting for the client. Uh, it was pretty fun to work on this project. We did it pretty fast and this is a truck that we're not used to do. Uh, this is a PW365. So right now we're just waiting for the client to come and pick this up. <laughs> 